Hey everybody! It's Faith from Fire Science Hero. Hope everybody's well. Um, as some of you may know who have caught the weekly reading this week, my back is still in a ton of pain. Um, that's why I really wasn't able to read yesterday. Um, I just putzed around doing what little housework I could, but I, I was not able to sit down for a very long period of time, like not even for just a couple of minutes because my back was just like, okay, I gotta get up and move, I gotta get up and move. So, Cards didn't get done, but we're here now. We're going to start throwing them down for November round two, and Scorpio, we're starting out with you. So, starting with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with your Sun sign, cool. If not, check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign placements. Keep in mind, time and energy are both good. And though this really isn't a cross-watcher's radio, you know, if you're a cross-watcher and you're more welcome to stay and hang out, but I don't know how much you're going to take out of this because this is going to go over Scorpio's strengths and weaknesses and what they need to do, what's got to go, what's coming in for their current situation. Again, not really for cross watchers, but you can hang out. If you're new here, think we might vibe and get along. You can hit the subscribe button, notification bell. That'd be super cool of you. If you're returning, welcome back. Glad to see you again. Okay, the cards are saying judgment popped out. Whoa. So maybe it could be at the close of a cycle, making a final judgment call on something. Let's see if it comes back out in the spread. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel grow. It all helps the videos be circulated to those who might need the message. So two quick things. Never make a life altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are. And two, if it's not your message, just leave the cards on the table and walk away. It wasn't meant for you, okay? So we're going to tip down, invoke the cards, and get started for Scorpio. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any message you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for November Round 2. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. And I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring Scorpio to their highest possible spiritual good and put them in their highest possible spiritual path. High Priestess reversed. Oh, God, that's a loaded card. Okay. Loaded. All right. Um, let's see what the rest of the cards have to say before I say another word. What's your strength? What's your weakness? Mm, I don't like your weakness being your card in the reverse. What do you want? Okay, what's well, got to go? What's coming in? Nice. All right. What you got to do? And the outcome. Bottom of the deck. Four of wands. That's celebration. That's harmony. That's the 11-11. If you believe in Twin Flame Connections, that would be your card. If that's your thing. It's harmony. It's wish fulfillment. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. All right. Don't normally throw a clarifier on the energy surrounding you, but this time I need to, Scorpio. Because that High Priestess is a loaded card when she's upside down like that. Even more loaded than she is in the right side up. Okay. And I know I normally don't do reversals for the round two, but... Well, for crying out loud. Apparently... <sighs> Temperance and the Knight of Swords. We'll see if they come back out. Card of Sagittarius. Card of something coming in, possibly with truth. Communication. Somebody could have their eye on you. Somebody could want positive energy in a situation, or you do. Maybe you got your eye on somebody. Possibly communication needs to happen to get positive energy into a situation. I don't know. I just throw down the cards, guys. 
Tell me about this high priestess reversed. Whoa. Okay. It's like, how do I take it? Five of swords. Ego battle. Hmm. Standing up, doing what's best for you. Victory to cost. Okay. Possibly things being clearer. I feel ego battle. So you're doing what's best for you in a situation. Your strength is the star. That's Aquarius energy. It's a card of healing. One on, one on the star, please. Page of Pentacles. Your ability to heal. Oh. Okay, it showed itself to me in the reverse. This one tried to flip the other way. Ace of Swords. Okay. You're a fast healer. Somewhat. You get over things. One more on this page of Pentacles. Totally reversed. Okay. Hmm. You rebuild. You rise up from the ashes. Okay, the page of Pentacles, it's the little student of the tarot deck. Don't necessarily do things quickly, but they do it wiser. They're still learning. You're working toward abundance. Okay. Why is death reversed the weakness? Why is death reversed the weakness? Sometimes you do things a little too quickly. Sometimes you do things before something's had a chance to totally process. Like, not necessarily ending cycles before new ones begin. Okay. What do you want? You want the Ace of Swords. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. The Devil. Second time out. Okay. What about this devil? It's the shadow side in this deck, but it's the devil. It's something that keeps you bound. Three of Pentacles, three of Wands, two threes, third three on the table. This feels so damn third party all of a sudden. You want a new start. You want to build foundations. Something's keeping you in a state of waiting. There could be somebody waiting on you. This, this doesn't even feel toxic. This feels energetic tie. This feels like an energetic tie. I'm not going to beat a dead horse. I'm not going to beat a dead horse. Talk to me about this devil for what's got to go. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, or you may just have to break an energetic die. Page of Swords. Somebody you're not speaking to. Somebody who could just be watching.
strength reversed. Empress reversed, something that didn't grow. The differences were too great. It speaks of polarities in a relationship. The differences were too great. You're not speaking to this person. This does not necessarily... It might be slightly toxic, but it doesn't feel like drug and alcohol addiction toxic. It feels like an obsessive toxic. God, one more. I don't want to beat a dead horse, but I need one more. Nine of Wands reversed. Something you threw the towel in on. They didn't. I don't know what this is resonating with, but you're energetically tied to something. Some of you may not even realize it. I think you rose up out of the ashes from this and you healed up from it just that quick and it wasn't finished processing on the other end. In complete transition. Okay, so... What do you got to do? Nine of Cups. Talk to me about the Nine of Cups. Hold on, we'll address that in a second. Hermit reversed. We'll address what's coming in in a second. I, for some odd reason, I skipped that card. Why the Hermit reversed? Nine of Swords. priest reversed. Uh, absolutely, you need to continue to work on you and your own personal happiness. But as far as this other person's concerned, I feel like dealing with them at all brings on anxiety. I feel like for some of you, possibly... Because it didn't work out, this it makes you anxious. Eight of Cups, keep walking, keep walking. It's not giving me the answer. If you work on your own happiness. Don't allow somebody else's lack of happiness or refusal to go down a path affect yours. You need to keep walking. Talk to me about this King of Pentacles for Scorpio for what's coming in. What's the King of Pentacles? He's the ultimate catch, by the way. He's the one you want. High Priestess. Yes, you are being divinely led and guided. Seven of 
Six of Cups reversed. And yeah, it's going to piss somebody off. One of the Six of Cups reversed. Seven of Cups reversed. Karma. The final judgment call. Isn't that weird? Can be an awakening too. One more. King of Swords, two kings. Following your intuition, doing what you're led and guided to do, making a final judgment call, making a head over heart, just head over heart decision, not allowing emotions to get involved. There's going to be bad blood here. Someone may come back to try to confuse things, but you have to make a final judgment call. You have to work on you. Don't worry about somebody else's inability to go down a path. You need to follow your path. You need to work on you. Somebody's obsessed. Until you break that tie, until you sever that tie, it's not going to stop. Somebody is still obsessed with something that did not work out. Why is the hermit here for the final outcome? Why is the hermit here for the final outcome? Four of Cups reversed. Yes, going inside, following your path, walking with your light. Sun reversed, and I don't want to be that reader, but even if it hurts the other person, the connection that you were in did not work out. You have a new connection coming. You need to do what is best for you. Oh, that just like totally went flying. Dog on it. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to reach this. Pardon me. Oh, it's the Six of Pentacles. I got to pause. Hold on. This is embarrassing. Hold on. Six Pentacles. Following your path to equality and stability. Equal give and take. Equality. Stability. Stability. It's at the bottom of the deck. King of Wands. You could be currently dealing with a fire sign. I don't know. Hmm. But that is a card in knowing what we want going after it and being hell bent on it. All right, we're going to pull an oracle. Real quick. All right, let's do a wisdom oracle for Scorpio. I've had these for a long time. I haven't really used them, but all right, let's give Scorpio a wisdom oracle for November round 2. If you feel like you want to come out observer. Observer. Number 49, 4 plus 9 is 13, 1 plus 3 is 4. Hmm, that's interesting. I can find number 49. Perspective, objectivity, neutral observation from a distance. Okay. 
Most people see the world through a personal lens. They closely identify with their feelings and experiences, so much, the, so much so that they come to believe that these are the only reality. There are times when you need distance in order to gain perspective and understand your circumstances from a more neutral vantage point. Now is one of those times in your life. This is a perfect moment for you to begin to do some exploring. Instead of only considering yourself, consider what you need to understand about the conditions, people, culture, and environment you're engaged with now. You'll be so happy you did. Illumination is the miracle you seek and will indeed find. Okay. Scorpio, this has been November round two. Honeys, know that you're loved. Be blessed. And I'll catch you guys in your next read.